Hello everyone. I'm happy to be back with you guys. Today we're talking about from Caleb Odio, the Synth Wave Essentials Pack 3. If you're a mobile music maker, if you're using your iPad to make music, you must know Mobile Music Pro. Vortex is behind that YouTube channel, and Mobile Music Pro is a place you can learn a lot of stuff on how to use your iPad to make music. He's got a lot of videos, there's live every week, banks of sounds you can download, you can buy, some are free, and that's what we're going to talk today. So, if you want to know more about Vortex and Mobile Music Pro, you have to follow Go See Him. Now, what he has right now released is the Synthwave Essentials Pack 3. So you have five drum kits with 75 one-shot sounds. You've got 14 melody loops. You've got seven bass loops, six drum loops. You've got seven guitar loops and 25 effects one-shot. I will not play all of them because they're free. You can just go download them and the link should be somewhere down here. I'll show you my computer so you see what I'm doing. So you have, uh, it's less than different thing. I mean, they're all zipped. There's a, the user agreement license. Uh, there's a readme, readme text when you just go through that and it's going to tell you how to install, how to use it, depending on where you're using it. And if you look at the way the bundles are made, you have for the iOS, for Ableton Live. So you've got a kit um, you can use. You've got MIDI files. So a bunch of MIDI files can you use. So again, pretty cool because these MIDI files are bass lines and synth lines and, and piano. And you know, so you can use all of that to use and create your own stuff. You have um, also an MPC version. You have Wave, just raw Wave. You can just click and play, and you have. So at the same time, you hear the sounds, and you have the melody. So these sounds are the sounds that are part of these sample back you can use. So these are with effects. So there's a lot of, of, of cool different loops here. Um, so these are the bass loops. Then you've got the one-shot loops, which is just like one note. So this is more for the sampler. So you can have many of the keys and you can play them. And that's what you will find if you load it into a um, sampler. So some of the, like the MPC pack here is made to be loaded into the MPC and you would have an instrument. Drum kits, you've got these drum kits. So these are all the sounds that goes together. So this is long if I'm going to do this this way, but I just want to show that you have all of them here. And get the drum loops, you can actually use, again, anywhere. So there's a bunch of them. You get the guitar loops, effects, and one. so all of them. So let's actually, the way we're going to use them, in my case, uh, you've got iOS, so you've got Audio Layer Kits, Beat Hawk Kits, you've got Beat Maker 3 Kits, Chameleon, Cubasis 2, Cubasis 3, DigiStix, EG Pulse, Gadget, so even Gadget, I'm IMPC Pro, Koala Kits, Nano Studio, 2 Kits, and Segment Kits. So there's a lot of them you can use. And, and it's, what's cool is, let's say you look at the Cubasis. Well, it's going to be an instrument. So these, when you put them into your uh, Cubase, folder, instrument folder, you load it, and then you've got the instruments you can play. So you don't have to use the loops that they provide, you just have a bunch of instruments you can play. So this is also pretty cool because you have access to the sound we just heard as an instrument that is live playable and not just a fixed loop. So you've got the MIDI file, you've got the sounds, and you've got the audio wave. So it's a pretty cool package and it's free. It's free. Did I say it was free? I'm going to have a draw for that. No, it's a joke. <laughs> like, yeah, put your name down and you might win one. It's free. Just pick one. Come on. 
so what I did, I'm actually using this inside ZenBeats. So there's no package for ZenBeats. And what I did is, if you want to load another track, so you're going to load audio tracks in ZenBeats, click an empty space, and you press play plus on it to load what you want. And you go into user, and on the top, beside user, here you select the user bank, and you're going to click on the little folder you have there, and you're going to import. So we've got guitar loops, we have, uh, let's say, so let's try a sound effect, see what they have. Impact, force, let's say short effect. Let's try this one. Now it's going to be imported into my list here. And where is it? I'm going to wait for that, wait for it. Voila. Sound effects, this one. Okay, it's a short sound effect. Let's, let's see if we can import something else. Okay, let's try an uplifter, whatever that means. We'll try that. Now again, it's going to import it. And it's... Where is it? Here, uplifter. Okay, okay. Let's say we tried this one. Put that plus in. Now it's loaded here. You go, what is that sound? <laughs> That's the second part of my video. It shouldn't be on that track. So I'm going to take that. Okay, let's put it here. So we have this. So we have the original sound. So if you press, I've got this loop here, the bass loop. Okay. It is the same thing. I imported all of them separately. And I've got the drum that's going to start. Now, if you look at the way they, they're turning, they're not on the same beat in the right place. So I'm gonna actually can stop them. I'm gonna stop them. I'm um, gonna wait until they finish their loop. And then if I, now if I press play, they're gonna start sync. You just have like the intro playing. I switch to the next line, load that in, it's gonna go. These are just the others, I mean, these are audio loops. You could have the MIDI, you could have the instrument. I chose the audio because I'm gonna use them with the effects just after that. The cool, the guitar is cool also. So really, if you're, uh, I mean, they're free. Get them, and at the same time, you learn who Mobile Music Pro is and Vortex, what he does, and it's gonna be really useful for you if you're into mobile music making, honestly. And so I wanna use this to demo this effect processor, because I've got that bass line here. Okay, we heard that. And I'm gonna go through the process of adding beef on it from Gabriel Kalium. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm going to say Kalium. Kalum? Kalum. Kalum Audio. That's with beef. What's cool about beef is just it's, well, you've got this little thing here. Okay, preset mode, but I want to have the uh, full control. You have an equalizer. Let's stop that for now. You have an equalizer at the entry point. It goes into a noise rate modulation, so that's kind of a yeah, it's a modulation. It's, 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 it's cool. Saturation, distortion, that type of sound. Crushing, so digital crushing, so bit crushing, uh, bit rate, bit rate divide. Um, shaping, um, and the gain limiter. So this is actually, it's a noise, dis I mean, it's distortion, it's fuzzy, it's noisy, but it also is a great way to add depth to a sound. So if you have a, let's say a, a, a drum and you want to have some wide, very kind of, you can even bring the reverb up with this if you want to squash it. And it, it gives, it gives uh, the sound some depth to it. Or if you have like the bass, it gives it some aggressive tone to the high end, because now you have like, so I have the drum at the back, if I stub the drum. And if I mute, if I play, if I play the mute game, that's just a bass, just a normal one. So if you combine them two together, it gives a cool tone, you know? 
but I'll show you what I did because I had the pleasure to create presets for that. Because it's a fun, it's, I, I, you know, if you follow me at all, you know I like distortion. I like noise. So that's an example of the first one I have. But this is where the... Let's actually bring all of them down, not using them. So kind of a almost a neutral state. You have the bass, of course, you can just boost the bass, and you go into saturation quite rapidly. So that's the cool thing about it. And distortion. So just the EQ itself, you can use it just to distort. Or you can use it to clean the sound. So well, I'm just gonna affect the high frequencies or so and the mid frequency, you can choose where it is. sub then you go into the let's say we bring that down you have frequency so that's the modulation But this is pretty cool. It creates that kind of a hairiness noisy at the back. That's where I'm saying that you can have these kind of, uh, it gives you like space, but it's it's in the high frequencies and kind of sizzling, you know? Let's put that back to zero. Let's not use it for now. You have the drive. You have a fuzz. You have an overdrive, a distortion, a tube, a tape, and a rectifier. I like the rectifier. It's kind of a aggressive and cutting, you know, which what it should be. You've got saturation. Okay, let's bring that down. And that's when you have the rate divide. You see how much you want. You have the bit depth. So this is this is my sound that I love the most, like the destruction, you know. You want to smooth it? No, you want to hear the noise. <laughs> and then you've got the attack sustain, so this little sustain, it's pretty cool. And you get the gain and release, so you can really smash a sound. Let's actually listen to some of the I'm gonna I'm gonna go and and stop this one. We're gonna go for the drum instead. Okay, this example here, it's uh, this drum here. If I don't use it, it sounds like this. That's the sound of the original sound. Kick, snare, full drum. If I put this in, what I have now is this what I call the long snare, because you mostly hear the snare. I cut the lows, I cut the mid, because the mid are just high frequencies, very high, and the highs are high, and I've got some saturation here to have that bit of noisy here. Rectifier, and I've got this red divide, and then you want to have more sustain, no attack, you hear? That's where you hear it. It doesn't doesn't smash any anymore. So that's a cool kind of compressor. And you have your release here on the limiter. So that's my smash leader. This is, is just like very smashed and wide and mid and high. So again, if you if you bring the volume up, the 
That's what I'm saying. When you have this in the back, you have that depth that you have more than if you just have that. It's kind of a weird reverb. It's not a reverb. It's like smash distortion in the back. And it's not a reverb. This one is just for the bass. You have a bassy rumbling. Maybe you want less sub. Cleaner if you want. That's a crackling drum. Here it's just saturating and clicking. I like that type of sound. Then you go back to clean tone and then you go. I'm just like sizzling, the crackling at the same time. Just very short nasty. That's a kick isolator we just had earlier. This one's just like pumping. So they're going over again. I'm going over the same over again. Hey. This one I call reverb discovery because you're just basically creating reverb, like like fake reverb in it. Or you're actually smashing it so much that you have the reverb that was very tiny at the back and I was just like in your face. I can make anything noisy. <laughs> That's the fun part. Well, the other example here, if you combine them, I've got these here. We got the bass. I'm just gonna mute this one because I don't want to play that one for now. Play all of them together. That's a pretty cool sound. I mean, I, I like that distortion. Then the guitar that they already had, that was like this. That was really nice. Now you can actually try this one instead. Because now it's going through the beef sound. And again, if you put it on the kick isolator, which is my preset, you just have like very low stuff happening. This is just like very way back. This one is just weird. This one is a wash of. Uh, this one is just noisy because everything is just gone. So these are just like the example of stuff I did, but it's just a great one you can use. You can try, you know, they have like more subtle one, which I'm not into. <laughs> no, I am, but I wanted to create like noisy stuff because it's, I like, I like, I like, which one is it? Where is it? This one. Of course. These are two different things. A great package of loops, MIDI files, sounds you can have from Mobile Music Pro. And the other one is a great noisy, but also cool, not so noisy, but again, it's the reason I like it. It's because it can be really noisy and smashy and in your face. And that is the Beef Audio Unit plugin from Calib Audio. Stay safe and make more music, guys. Cheers. Thank you.